into a tissue box 420 snack with me. We have the chips here that are straight from England that are in our store. It's from the Taylor's, I guess, or whatever lineup of their hand cooked English chips. Um, there could be more flavors that they possibly had before on the shelves, but at the time of purchasing this, there was that uh, sea salt and like apple cider one. Unless it just says and cider. There was like this black pepper and sea salt. Then one I picked up to try sweet chili and red pepper. <clears throat> um, there. See, that's their uh, name there. And that's the court farm name that they're from. They make fine English potato chips from local hair. Or shire potatoes. They cook them by hand in small batches. Then leave the jackets on. Um, nothing teases the taste buds quite like this total, like this subtle branching colossium of sweet chili and red pepper. And if you like these, keep your eyes peeled for our other magnificent vegetable chips. Life the Tyrell's way. Uh, let's do. Here's a lifestyle guide to keep your spirits up. One day should do it. A chunk of Stilton, a small cake, a glass of iced tea, a game of hacky sack, a bowl of proper English chips. Nothing artificial, gluten free, vegan friendly. <coughs> Made in England. They won the Great Taste Gold Award in 2012. Potatoes, sunflower oil, sugar, natural flavors, onion powder, salt, tomato powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, parsley, jalapeno chili pepper, white pepper, paprika, ginger, star in this, basil, I almost said Brazil shit, <laughs> and red pepper. Okay. Whoa, I can already detect the smell. Chili smell and a pepper smell and something weird. They smell a little weird, but they smell like nice pepper smell and a strong chili smell. Very crunchy. Hand cooked English chips. They don't taste like a typical potato chip. Either that's the pepper taste, or maybe they have a little bit of a vegetable side to these things. So there's a little sweetness there, and there's definitely a good hint of, ch hint of chili, but I'm not finding it spicy. Depending on how much powder seasoning is on each chip, and depending on how you take the chip, it will affect the heat. Because if it has a lot of powder and it hits your throat like that chip did, you feel for a few seconds a bit stronger. But there's a sweetness to it, um, some chili taste to it quite a bit, but nothing spicy in my opinion. And then I don't know if it's the red pepper or if there's some other kind of vegetable thing to these. But then they got some little bit of weird sides that can't detect if it's a different vegetable or just pepper. But they're very crunchy. Couldn't do this flavor all the time. Or couldn't probably do a bigger bag than this because that little weirdness at the end and the little bit of sweetness to it would eventually be too much. I can eat a lot of these before they get really, really spicy. Cause good taste of the chili there, but I'm not finding it overly spicy or anything. But it's getting a little hotter the more you eat them. Good crunch, blah, 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 good. And they're English chips. Peace out.